been hot on the Power 5 as of late. In case you've been living under a rock, 21-8-1 run the last six days. And it's a long-term run of 204-170-2. Went 6-1 and one here on the show last Saturday in college football. That includes a few look-aheads I had given out earlier in the week. Today, we cover some of the biggest games on this Saturday's slate, including Georgia Ole Miss and Alabama LSU. I've also got a favorite that no one is talking about. Probably the best situation of the entire Week 11 slate, and a total as well. As a reminder, you can always comment down below and share your thoughts on these selections. Just be kind enough to smash that like button at some point. We always appreciate your support. So here we go. Number one, NC State, minus three versus Duke. This is a matchup I haven't seen many people handicap throughout the course of the week, but here's why I like the Wolfpack. They're at home, still needing a win to get bowl eligible. This is their home finale. After this, NC State travels to face Georgia Tech and North Carolina. Neither of those is a guaranteed win. But more important than the sense of urgency here for NC State is the respective trajectories that they and Duke are on right now. The Wolfpack, they've started to show some life with back-to-back -back wins over Cal and Stanford. That indicates they care about getting bowl eligible. They're not done yet. Duke, meanwhile, they're already bowl eligible and off back-to-back straight-up losses. Two weeks ago, the Blue Devils could not beat SMU despite a plus-six turnover margin. Very difficult to lose when you're plus-six in turnovers, but Duke did it against SMU. Then last week, they ended up not even covering as 21-point underdogs at Miami, even though they had a second-half lead. Really tough to get off the mat with a couple results like that, especially since you know head coach Manny Diaz wanted to beat his former employer last week. I also like how the NC State offense has looked with freshman quarterback C.J. Bailey. Who needs Grayson McCall? In the last four games, NC State has averaged 33 points and 430 yards with Bailey completing over 71% of his passes. Now, he's going to get to face a Duke defense that's allowed 400-plus total yards in four of its last five games. Let's not forget preseason, NC State was pegged as a contender in the ACC. Duke was picked to finish near the bottom of the conference. This is also a revenge spot for the Wolfpack from a 24-3 loss in Durham last season. So I say lay it. Don't turn your back on the Wolfpack. Number two, how about James Madison? Minus 15.5 versus Georgia State. Note, like NC State, this is a 3.30 Eastern kickoff. JMU is your situation to play of the week, guys. Get this. The Dukes are coming off a bye while Georgia State's playing its fourth consecutive road game. The previous seven times this situation has arisen, where we have a team off a bye, hosting an opponent, playing a four straight road game. The rested home team has gone a perfect 7-0 ATS. Shout out to Colin Wilson for that trend. Want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, and then so far, you look at this Georgia State road trip. What have they done? They've lost at Marshall, App State, and UConn. What can the Panthers possibly have left in the tank? This is a team with just one FBS win all season. Shockingly, it was against Vanderbilt, but that was at home. James Madison, they desperately want to get back in the race in the Sun Belt East. I don't think they mess around here. Lay the points. Number three, one of the marquee matchups on Saturday, Georgia at Ole Miss. Let's take a look at Georgia under its team total, 27 and a half. Minus 110 at DraftKings. If you want to lay the extra juice, minus 130 to get 28 and a half, I won't argue with you. I talked about this game with Mark Zeno on Friday's edition of the Morning Wager. I believe Ole Miss is the right side here. The Rebels are at home, and a loss means they're out of the college football playoff discussion. But I am weary of this coaching mismatch of Kirby Smart versus Lane Kiffin. So while my numbers indicate Ole Miss is the play, I, I, I'm a little gun-shy about taking them plus a short number. Nevertheless, the best unit on the field Saturday in Oxford, in Vaught-Hemingway, it's going to be the Ole Miss defense. Number one in the country by a wide margin in tackles for loss. Over his last five games, Georgia quarterback Carson Beck has more interceptions than he does touchdown passes. I think there is a world where Georgia wins and covers this game, but still stays under the team total. So, again, numbers say Ole Miss is the right side. I don't know if I agree with Normally, I just my numbers say something. I'm with them. Here, I'm a little skittish. So, rather than take the points with Ole Miss, let's bet Georgia under their team total of 27.5. Four, Maryland, Oregon, under 57.5. Oregon's defense has allowed more than 17 points to just two teams all season. Boise State and Ohio State. Those two teams, 
probably college football playoff bound. You know who's not college football playoff bound? Maryland. Now, Michigan's not college football playoff bound either. They got the 17 against the Ducks last week, but that was with the benefit of a short 28-yard touchdown drive. Every other Oregon opponent this season, besides Boise State, Ohio State, and Michigan, has failed to score more than 14 against Oregon. Uh, Maryland quarterback Billy Edwards Jr., he leads the Big Ten in passing, but the Terps have a one-dimensional offense. They rank outside the top 100 in rushing yards. Uh, Let's look at the over-under, the number specifically. If the number holds, it's going to be the highest total for any Maryland game this season. All but two have closed 50 or lower, so this is a full seven points higher than that. Only one of Oregon's last seven games has closed with a total higher than 57 and a half. And number five, our last play of the Power Five here today is LSU plus three versus Alabama. Shop around. There are still threes out there. Bottom line, got to take the Bayou Bengals as dogs in Death Valley on sheer principle. This Alabama team has not looked right since that first half against Georgia. Really the first quarter. The offensive line is going to struggle the Alabama offensive line, that is, against an LSU defense that has 26 sacks in its last six games. Then we got to talk about this. Underdogs in SEC games this year are cashing at a ridiculous rate. How about 29-12-1 against the spread? Of course, that trend would also apply to Georgia Ole Miss, which I talked about earlier. This is a case, though, I'm comfortable taking the points with the home dog, LSU plus three. All right, let's recap the Power 5 here for Saturday. Number 1, NC State minus 3 versus Duke. Number 2, James Madison minus 15.5 versus Georgia State. Number 3, Georgia team total under 27.5. Number 4, Maryland, Oregon under 57.5. Number 5, LSU plus 3 versus Alabama. Again, comment down below with your thoughts and questions. If there's a game you'd like me to address that I didn't talk on today, drop in the comment section. I'll get back to you. Let me know what you're betting on Saturday as well. And after you've smashed that like button, head on over to wt.buzz slash BP, where yes, I am still number one for the season in college football at Wager Talk. Number one the last 365 days as well. Now 45 and 22, 45, 22, my last 67 CFB bets. That goes back to last season, plus 75.4 units, which includes a nine and two run with plays rated 4% or higher. For Saturday, at wt.buzz slash BP, you can get my complete card for just $29. Currently locked and loaded, I've got four plays, including two 4% best bets. Uh, there are There is a chance, I should say, that I will add more selections to that package. So be on the lookout for that. But that will do it for Saturday's edition of the Power 5. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed to the Wedge Talk YouTube channel. And until next time, guys, uh, let's cash some tickets.